Now, another tech executive is walking away from his post, but the reason isn't linked to sexual harassment, but rather a faulty iPhone antenna. The man responsible for Apple's iPhone and iPod hardware, Mark Papermaster, is leaving the company following criticism of the phone. So, is this the end game of Antenna Gate, or is there more to come in the iPhone 4 story? Joining us right now is Ken Shapiro. He's the president of Condor Capital Management. Ken manages $600 million in assets, and Apple is his largest equity holding. Ken, great to have you here on Bloomberg. Thank you, Kyle. What are you, what are you hearing uh, about this change, this executive walking away? You know, I think it was this, the, the thing with the antenna gate was kind of the last straw. When this um, particular executive, um, Mark Papermaster, came over to Apple, there was a big cloud with IBM. In fact, there was some lawsuits going back and forth. Mm -hmm. and, and they actually had to sign off every quarter on kind of sharing of information not happening. So I think that that was one aspect. And I think then the next aspect was kind of the iPhone 4 kind of coming out and the, the product seeing on websites and that actually somebody had one in their hands. Right. So I think that this is kind of strike three and you're out. I mean, is he the man responsible for the mistakes? Is it the right executive to go in your view? You know, I don't think that the antenna was necessarily his fault. I think that this was just kind of a series of events um, with this particular thing. And I really don't think that this antenna is a big deal. You really don't think it's a big deal? No, I mean, you know, I, there are rumors out on the street today that Apple's actually up their orders for components that they're looking to ship 10 million iPhone 4 units. So it's not we, hurting them? No, it's definitely the consumers telling you we're still buying the product. The product works pretty well with the bumpers. You know, I think that this is kind of a natural progression. You know, consumers have a passion for their products. It's one of the few companies you can actually say that about. It's interesting. What do we know about Bob Mansfield? He's the guy who's taking over for Mark Papermaster. You know, he was more of a technical guy in charge of a few different technical areas of the iPhone. So putting kind of a more technical guy in charge of that product, I think, could be bit beneficial. I mean, do you think Apple, I mean, many would say that they didn't handle this very well. Do you feel like they have a grip, they have control of the situation at this point? Oh, I absolutely do. I, You know, I'm sitting here on the media, but I think that the media in and of itself is kind of making a little Are bit Are you going to blame us? I know. <laughs> a little bit of a bigger deal out of this than it is. But what about, you know, Steve Jobs and his control of the company? I mean, is it surprising that this happen under his watch? You know, he has a lot of control of the company. I mean, he he definitely is a master of that. I mean, but as the company gets grows and gets bigger and bigger, you know, we're looking at a company that's really doubled in size in a very, very short period of time. He's going to have less and less control over this types of situations. Do you think this antenna gate, as it's so called, has changed the public's perception, investor perception of Apple? I mean, I look at the stock, it's up about almost 25% this year. So investors, we know, like it. But has it changed the perception at all of Apple? No, absolutely not. In fact, when I I go in the mall today, still the Apple store is the only store with a lot of people in it. All right. What's what's next then in terms of investors kind of focusing on what comes from Apple next? You know, there's several rumors out there. There's rumors for a new Apple TV product out there right. that with kind of an interface similar to an iPhone. There's a rumor for, with a 7-inch iPad coming out, which kind of would be a Kindle-type killer because right. it would be at a much lower price point. But the biggest rumor that's been kind of going and actually kind of maybe has some legs is that component manufacturers are are pointing towards a Verizon CDMA type iPhone in the January time frame. You know, can I keep hearing you say, you know, I'm hearing rumors, uh, you know, about different things. Where are you hearing them from? You know, there's a, several different blog sites that are out there mm -hmm. on the web. Those are the main ones that I look at. So that's where I'm seeing that type of stuff. I mean, do you feel like when you look at this company, and again, I want to go back to AntennaGate because I think many people thought, wow, you know, Steve Jobs is losing some control of the company. I understand, as you say, it gets bigger and bigger. He's not going to necessarily be involved so deeply. But do you still feel like he can, you know, effectively and correctly manage this company? Absolutely. You know, he's managed this company from a few billion dollars in sales to now 40 billion. And I think that that shows a lot of prowess and a lot of skill. And I think that the hardest part has been done. They have such momentum here that I think it's actually getting a little easier for them. You're not worried at all. I can hear no, it. No, I'm not. All right, we'll leave it on that note. Hey, Ken, thank you so much. No problem. Ken Shapiro at Condor Capital Management.